In this video, I'm going to be talking about the three best parkas for cold weather. So what we basically look for whenever we're testing them all out, or how they actually performed, how durable they were, and also the price. And then we tried the best we could find one that's a little bit cheaper, one in this middle of the range, and then one that's more expensive as well. So you can basically kind of go off whatever your budget is. But let's start with my number three pick. It's going to be the Eddie Bauer Superior 2.0. And this is definitely my favorite kind of cheaper cold weather jacket since it's super warm, it has a tough rain shedding shell and it's not going to break the bank as well. Um, the coldest I've had it in was about minus 15 degrees and it worked, you know, it worked great, um, no issues with it. Um, I normally use mine for like cold weather fishing and you know it's been really comfortable to wear. Um, more so than a lot of its competitors, um, I definitely like, like the comfort factor and um, overall it was a great jacket. Um, the pros of it are it's better than a lot of the jackets double its price. Um, it's waterproof. Um, it's rated for minus 30 degrees. Um, I haven't had it that cold yet, so I don't really know. But um, you know, I have it you know in the minus like 10 to 15 around there, um, and it's worked great. Um, the material is also tough enough to wear in the bush as well, um, which is definitely um, you know awesome if that's what you're planning on using it for. Cons: um, the pockets are a little bit smaller than I'd like. Um, it's a little bit stiff and takes some time to actually get it worked in and break in. Um, and then it's also, I'd prefer it if the hood was detachable. Um, but overall, uh, no, those are kind of the main three cons to it. Um, but really not that big of a deal. My number two pick is over the North Face Gotham 2. And this is my favorite middle of the range cold weather jacket because it's not as bulky as most and it's also quiet to wear around. I've been using this jacket for skiing and it works great just as you know just as good as any other jackets I've actually tested. Um, it's pretty close to the previous Eddie Bauer jacket, but I found the hood um, to be a bit more comfortable and also the shell wasn't as stiff as the previous one as well. And those are kind of the two main reasons why I like it a bit more. Pros, um, the material is tough and it seems well built so far. Um, it's waterproof, it's not overly expensive for a high quality jacket. And then it works great in like minus 15 degrees. Cons, um, the sleeves wore a little bit short for me. Um, so this is all kind of, you know, going to be based on like your structure. But, um, you know, my, my arms are a little bit long. And, you know, the the, the, uh, the sleeves were a little bit short. But, um, you know, it wasn't like majorly short. But it's definitely, um, I would like for, for me anyways to be a little bit longer. And the fur isn't real um, if you care about that. But those are pretty much the two um, main cons to it. But the number one pick is going to be the Triple Fat Goose Eldridge. And this is my favorite high-end cold weather jacket and prefer it over the Canada Goose because it is cheaper and pretty much does the same thing in my opinion. Um, just like the previous North Face jacket, this one wears a little bit short in the arms, um, but it does actually come with a wrist and hand cover, which definitely helps out a lot. It makes it kind of, you know, not that big of a deal. And I generally wear this when I go out. Um, the others were more for like outdoor activities because they were cheaper. Um, this one is more expensive, so I don't really wear it, um, you know, in the bush or fishing or anything like that. I just generally wear it whenever I go out, um, since it is a bit pricey and um, it's been great for that. Pros, um, it works great in like minus 20 degree weather. Um, it's waterproof. The collar has, you know, a snug fit, which keeps you warm when it's windy or when it's raining, that kind of thing. And then has real coyote fur um, if you do care about that or if you don't care about that um, you know it could be a con whatever i don't know um, but those kind of the main pros to it cons um it's fairly expensive um not quite as expensive as like the canada goose or that kind of thing and i pretty much think it's like you know the exact same thing um you know both i've i've tried both and i've really seen no difference it has threaded buttons um but i would prefer snap-ons or like a zipper that kind of thing um just to make it more secure um, and then some people have had a tough time sizing the jacket. Um, you know, only issue I've had with it was with you know having a bit of a short or uh, shorter arm to it. Um, I found a lot of the jackets out there um, for people with longer arms. Um, they do generally run a little bit small, uh, but this one, um, just because it does have like the the wrist and hand, um, you know, the hand sleeves, um, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but those are pretty much the three um, main cons to it. But overall, um, this is definitely the best high end jacket. Um, if you are a more on a budget, um, I would recommend either of the first two. Um, overall, all three of them are great, and um, I've tested out a lot, and those three were my favorites. If you'd like to see more images or more reviews of any of the products, or you want to pick up any for the lowest price available, check out the description down below. At the time of the video, that was the best place I could find each of the products, so you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want. 
And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And we'll just mention our monthly giveaway. So if you want to enter in, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment giveaway down below. Simply do those three things and you'll be automatically entered. Alright, so that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.